Okay. Uh, so for those of you who've already seen uh, like all the Fey channel and, and obviously all that stuff's already in the game, well most of it anyway. I actually think yeah, all that stuff is in the game, which is kind of weird that they like would make the channel update like on the day that it was going to be released, like a few hours before it's out, because it's like <laughs> I don't know. It just Epic Seven usually is like, oh, this is what's coming, you know, in a week from now or two weeks from now. Here it's like, hey, this is what's coming tomorrow or in a few hours, and it's like, well, that's kind of weird. But anyway, for those of you who already saw that, um, we got a glimpse of what I was worried about, like the reason I didn't want to summon right away on that um, spe double special heroes banner. Um, was because I wanted to see what was coming next and the banner that's coming next is going to be well Let's take a look at it here uh, As you can see here. I, I switched over to this one. I actually really like this one. Um, I like this like wooden rustic kind of like steampunky looking um, Stuff down here going on in the middle and then obviously I like all the little gears around everywhere um, And I like the kind of brown bronze ish like not exactly I mean this looks kind of gold because the lights hitting it more but like you look around here and it's a little more bronzy uh, maybe brass in some areas, and I don't know, I just like that kind of, like, color aesthetic and all that. Um, but yeah, so let's come over here, and see, as you can see up there on the right, or not up there, but, like, just on the right in general here, you can see um, the, the unit summon thing up there, because this is going to be, like, a bigger... Normally, I don't really care too much, because I'm always, like, I don't really summon for merges on these things. I usually just try to get in, get one summon, and get out. Um, and whatever comes in, comes in. But this is, like... Um, a more serious summoning session because I, I plan to probably blow all, all 1,000 of these orbs on this banner um, But let's take a look at this banner and, and we'll have like a small mini review on here and, and, and talk about it uh, So it's gonna be the four star focus um, Plus 10 healer if you're after it, then there you go. Um, do I suggest it? Probably not uh, There's not a whole lot of reason to run any healer in my in my opinion um, to run any healer other than like Veronica Um yeah, I mean, Veronica is just like the best healer in the game with also like having a huge offensive capability. Um, but in terms of like su being like a super tanky, you could run her. Uh, a lot of people already have like a plus 10 Mercedes, a uh, plus 10, you know, just any, like you probably already have one. If you don't have one, I guess this is, that's, this is for you. Um, I just like, there's no modes that I play, whether it be Arena, Aether Raids. I mean, I don't play Arena very seriously. I only, I've never really hit tier 21. But uh, Arena, Aether Raids, you know, whatever these other modes are, I've never played it and been like, oh, I need a healer more than Veronica. You know, Veronica's done everything that you need her to. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. That's, you know, it's up to you. Uh, I just... Healers, like, when it looks when it comes to healers, they're all the same to me. Like, they're all... Yeah, they're all just, like, they can be... You can just stat them up and there you go, and they're just kind of sitting there. <laughs> I mean, their stat lines are pretty similar. Uh, but they don't have any unique skills. They don't have any unique... Um, Stabs other than like I said Veronica is what makes her so strong uh, So yeah, I don't know just whatever uh, We finally got Selena as a regular unit and not just like that summer unit, which is pretty cool um, I like Selena. I like the way I, I wanted to see what she looked like normally obviously because you know the summer attire was uh, Giving her a bit of an unfair advantage in terms of uh, uh, you know her waifu level there <laughs> uh, But she looks really nice like this. Uh, I really do like this uh, What she's got going on here like the green the, like the the, the outfit and all that stuff. Um, unfortunately, everything else isn't very useful. Uh, she's another blue mage, Cav blue mage. She'll do decent, I mean, I'm assuming, but the fact that she uh, is competing with Reinhardt, it's like, it always you always have to go back to Reinhardt. Now, Reinhardt isn't like the end-all be-all of blue mage Cav units, especially now in 2020, he's fallen off a little bit, like, but... There's not a whole lot of reason like Selena doesn't stand out to me very much like she just got life and death for her. I mean that's I'm, I mean if I you know, if I get her it's gonna hurt to fodder her off for that but I might just have to um, probably won't get her though because I don't know if, how much I'll have to summon on this banner uh, this rally is pretty good uh, her tome gives her three speed uh, if it's if her enemy's HP is over 75 she gains plus attack five she put, uh, she gains plus five to attack and speed with um, the the what's it called the Byleth sword effect where you neutralize their ability to follow up and then prevent yours. Um, so she's pretty good, but like I said, I mean, she just doesn't really do very much more. I mean, she doesn't really do a whole lot more than like the, the Summer Byleth, which is literally concurrent to this banner. We actually have an extra day on that, which the the, 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 the dual mythic banner is actually going to expire today. So that's why I wanted, I could say this video till tomorrow, but I want to do this today to see if I have any orbs left over after the summoning session 
Or, you know, because I'm going to be filling it out to see how we go. If I have any orbs left over after the summoning session, uh, we'll dump them into the dual special banner and try to get uh, a copy of Triandra, which is really the main one I want, um, just to have her on, on defense uh, for light season or dark season. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, you know, again, it's like she hits hard, but does she hit hard? Does she hit as hard as, like, Lysithia? Uh, a base Lysithia? Does she hit as hard as, like, a base Ophelia? Does she hit as hard as a Reinhardt? It's like, probably not. Um, but yeah, so there's that. This guy, apparently, uh, Christopher Sabat is his voice actor, which is Vegeta. Um, uh, he's always going to be Vegeta to me. He's also, uh, what's his name? All Might from My Hero Academia, and uh, I am not as big a fan of him anymore after he said that All Might was a better... <laughs> he thought it was a better thing than Vegeta. I mean, it's up to him, you know, his experience is whatever, but, like, there's no way I'd ever put All Might as, you know, above Vegeta in terms of, like, the performance and, and what he's given to the anime community. Because uh, I can almost guarantee you, while My Hero Academia is a very good show, um, it's an excellent show, it's not going to have the universal, like, you know, 20 years from now that Dragon Ball Z has had where it's like Dragon Ball Z came out in the 80s and the 90s and here we are 30 years later and it's still prominent um where my, my hero academia is good it's it's good but it's about as good as like you know as Fullmetal Alchemist and like who's talking about Fullmetal Alchemist in 2020 right like only people who are like oh you know deep into anime and all that stuff right like people, those of us who watch more than just seasonal stuff like too many there's too many people who were just chasing that that anime FOMO of like, oh, we have to watch what's coming out now, what's coming out this season, what's coming out this season, where um, a lot of us, you know, I mean, I I don't watch anything that's coming out new. Like, I don't, I've only seen the first two episodes of My Hero Academia, and, and my, my sister has told me a lot about it, but I'm getting into, like, some nonsensical stuff here, <laughs> but uh, hopefully you can you know, forgive that. But um, my sister, she's watched it, and she said it's, it's great, and I, I do trust her opinion, and I do trust the opinion of a lot of people. I, I do think it's great, and based on the first two episodes, um, I imagine it's great, so I'm kind of saving that for later. Uh, but I don't like watching anime as it's coming out. I'd rather wait till it's all fully out, and then I can just watch everything. And what I have to worry about, like, when's the next season coming out? When's all this stuff coming out? So that's why I, I kind of stick to older anime. Um, but yeah, um, let's see. But yeah, so let, let's get back to this. Let's not uh, get ten. Let's not get off on a tangent here, just because uh, we saw Christopher Sabat here. Uh, but this guy looks pretty decent, I guess. A cav, tanky cav unit. Um, yeah, I mean, they just gave him all the like unkillability <laughs> if that's a word the unkillability uh, uh skills so he's got defense for as solo four which is going to happen a lot because he's a, a cav so he kind of separates from the pack easier um he's got lull attack defense three which the lull attack means that you reduce their attack by a potentially at the low end you're reducing their attack by three but if they have like a a boost like a a, a buff on their attack you're basically lowering it by a whole nine right because it nullifies that boost so, not much to say, but it's really good. So, you know, lows are always going to be good. Like I said, they have a variance between... They're always going to supply a flat 3 reduction, but they have the potential to reduce things by a 6 more on top of that. So a 9 or a 10 in case it's 7 uh, from uh, buffs and all that stuff. So that's, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, and he gives himself a little bit extra ability to uh, to hurt them. Because he's not he doesn't need the speed. And obviously the res one doesn't matter. So, you know... Let's reduce their defense by that same uh, variability and have us kill him easier. Uh, and then Rao, so he just gets boosted. Um, so he gets visible buffs, non-visible buffs, and then he reduces their 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 reduces their stats. And then on top of that, reduces uh, removes their buffs. So there you go. Uh, and here you can put whatever you want. Uh, this Lance, if he's not adjacent, he gains um, a lull attack defense. So basically, he has lull attack defense like nine because it reduces it by three from the lull, and then another six from this. Um, wow, and he just gains the free follow-up attack, so there you go. Uh, you know, Dussel, pretty solid, um, Lance Cavalry unit, but I'm already running, I'm already using, um, I'm already dedicating my, or my, uh, my resources for Blue Lance Cavs to, um, what's their name already? <laughs> keep forgetting people's names. Uh, the Blue Lance girl that we got last time, I, sorry. <laughs> Uh, it's a bit early, but um, I really should know these names better now. Um, but yeah, she came out. She was free grail. She's one of the free grail units. Um, she's got uh, effective against beast on her weapon. Um, it's really the main thing. 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, you guys know who I'm talking about. I'm just blanking on the name for some reason right now. Uh, so here we are. This is the only reason I would, if you, if I were to summon on this banner, like, you know, after I summon on the other one, and, and you see I have the tickets here, so I'm, I'm debating on whether or not I want to uh, spark somebody. If I were to summon on this banner, it'd be for another copy of her. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's really all there is to it. Um, but the problem being that it's not really useful to get another copy of her because when you have your mythics, so let's say you have... Um, like on, on light season, my light season, I have peony, uh, air, and I have a third peony, um, which I haven't merged into the other one. Because it's not worth merging that third peony, because I have, I have one peony that has two merges, so that's my third peony. It's not worth merging that peony into my other peony, because I don't intend on plus tenning that peony anyway, right? I can't believe I just said that name so many times. There's no reason in plus tenning that unit. Air, on the other hand, does benefit from the plus ten, and I have her at a plus four. So unless I intend Peony to go uh, one, you know, merges higher than 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 air, then I, I should. But in that case, I won't. The only reason she has a plus ten is just to get the uh, the stats and you know a little bit of survivability here and there. But uh, otherwise, uh, there's really no reason to merge her. Um, the point I want to make though is if you're going to merge, like the merges don't count unless it's the highest merged one. So you get the bonus from having Peony and air. You don't get another bonus from having another uh, Peony. So you only get the two. Um, and it just takes like, after that, like if you have, you know, four and two, you're not getting more lift if you have four and three, right? So you only get more lift if you upgrade the air in this case. So it's the air. So it's a plus five, right? If you get her to a plus five, you'll get more lift. Um, so it's not really worth, I think that's how it works. I'm pretty sure <laughs> I don't have that confirmed because that's how it's always been in my head, but maybe I'm, uh, <laughs> talking out of my ass here. Um, but I think that that should be what what goes on there. Anyway, the bottom line is, um, with Reagan here, I'm not gonna like plus ten her, especially not now that I'm wasting all these orbs on over here. But um, and and you know, if I were to, I'd have to wait till like she comes out on a better banner anyway. Uh, but like, I just want the stats. The stats would be nice on her because she's a very strong unit as it is. She's like a like we already got we all got a copy of her. She's kind of like a free leaf who doesn't have um, range, right? Because you can go in there, hit someone because of this can. Uh, what is this? This uh, Canto you can go in there, hit someone, and then still move after that. Like, right? Like, <laughs> you can't attack again, but you can move after that. Um, if you're running Gale Force on her, you can go in, attack someone. If you kill them and you trigger Gale Force, you get to go again and hit someone else, and then still get your three spaces to get out of there, and then maybe like dance them, and then, you know you're all safe. So you take out two units relatively safely the same way kind of leaf can right um but yeah like that's pretty cool uh i don't really like her for that i don't really like that kind of play style of like just go in there and kind of like pve everything and just kind of like not have anything move while you're just like stomping on everything um but yeah uh, i just kind of like her as a unit um this this weapon other than that is all right uh she gains plus six attack speed reduces their uh, damage by 30 percent uh, which is pretty good. This 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 right here is one of my favorite things about her is this uh, adaptive damage on her special, uh, plus fifteen. Unfortunately, what I want, what I would love to do would be to like, because this uh, on turn one it's reduced by three, so basically this is charged at the beginning, and you're hitting someone for effect for uh, adaptive damage. Um, but what would be cool, which is kind of annoying that they gave her this, but would be cool if you gave her a uh, special spiral. And then after, since the first time it's triggered, because usually the problem with Special Spiral is like you have to trigger it that first time. It's usually like a huge pain, um, especially on three and three, uh, three, three, three charge and above specials. Uh, but this one, in this case, uh, already is already charged the first turn. So when it comes back the second turn, it's going to be at a, a one a one cooldown. So if you want to use her as like some sort of like you know tanker, you can go in there, hit somebody, and then someone hits her. And then she retaliates back with the immediate uh, Seder Shell. Seder Shell. There we go. With the immediate Seder Shell special. Um, kind of the same way uh, Bike, or uh, not Bike, uh, what's his name? Uh, Vector uses Soul. Like they hit him once if he has special Spiral, it's charged, so he retaliates back with the Soul. Now, granted, Soul gives you healing, which is more useful in a lot of cases, especially because of how much damage uh, Vector does. Uh, but in her case, it's pretty good because you can just retaliate back and hit him and just, you know, just kill him. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, the best way to use it is probably just going to be the way uh, she's intended. Um, capitalize on the Swiss Pro 3 and the, the lull defense, speed defense, and all that stuff. Uh, run in there, hit somebody, pull smoke them all, and then just get out of there so you don't have to run a Versa anymore. You don't have to run um, 
like a, a your Tethys with the sudden panic anymore. Um, if you want to use her for that purpose, and then just kind of, especially because you can get a, you can get another unit in your team, so now you got six on offense, uh, which is kind of ridiculous. You can just you know, okay, well here we are, here's this, and then um, you know hit somebody come back, and then just bring in you know if you're if you're still running something else, you just bring in your like my in my case it's Astro season, so I can maybe just bring in my Vector and then have him tank uh, the now you know five the four unit the five units left and they're all panicked and all that kind of stuff so you know it is what it is um so yeah she's pretty cool i think um definitely be pretty awesome to use uh so like i said it, we'll, we'll see how this goes um i'm not gonna summon on that i'm gonna summon on that might summon on this obviously as you see here this is not used yet um i want to at least get one copy of triandra now that we've seen her ability they suggested that there will be a defense mythic that mirrors her um her her thing here this ability this astra ability which means that now i gotta save up to buy to to pull for a um uh, what's it called to pull for a one or one or two probably because you need one for each season but one of you know, whatever that's coming next that will have this ability so i can have more defense units um so now because originally you know what you want is like two triandras to have two dancers on your eighth or a's defense but now i'm not so much convinced that's the kit that you should want that so I'm thinking maybe run get one Triandra would be nice and then just kind of save up until the next like her comes out for defense and then have her on defense and then have like another unit instead so uh yeah so it is what it is we'll, we'll see how that goes uh but yeah so here we are uh without any more delay let's get in there and start um start summoning here uh believe me i'm as excited um to do these as some of as you know the few of you who watch may may um may be <laughs> excited to see so let's get in there uh, of course, the um, the main two focuses are going to be these two. Uh, for those of you who saw last time, I showed that graph that tells you how many orbs it takes to plus ten, uh, plus eleven, uh, to plus ten a unit, so it's eleven copies. That suggested that at fifty percent, at the fifty percent mark, it's seventeen hundred orbs, seventeen maybe eighteen hundred, so seventeen seventeen to eighteen hundred orbs, right? To get the plus eleven, but what that means is that since the both since there's only two red units and they both share the the pool and they're both equally likely to come out by the time you hit that plus ten on one unit, you should get the plus ten on the other unit. So both units should be at plus ten, uh, which is pretty good value for orbs. Uh, obviously, as you can see up there, we're not at seventeen hundred; we're only at a thousand. But I remember, if you remember, I pointed out that video who summoned about four five copies of each at four eighty orbs. Um, you know. Like I said, that, that luck doesn't necessarily translate over to you, but there's the possibility of that happening. Um, that kind of intrigues me more than anything. Um, what I'm looking for is at least a plus four. Once we get to the plus four on both, which I think is guaranteed, um, which means five copies of each, uh, then we'll, we'll have to sit back and reevaluate um, how far I'm willing to go because they only get another attack point, which is most, which is the most important stat on both of them. They only get another attack point at about a plus, um, at a plus eight, right? So after a plus four, I, like all those copies are kind of in limbo until I get the plus eight, and then that's when it's secure. And we'll see how, like I said, we'll fill it out how we get there. Um, I'd like a plus ten on both, but obviously I don't have the orbs for that. Uh, co any copies of any extra copies of Pala would be fantastic. Um, I need the sturdy impact because I don't really want to lose it off my um, what's his name. I, I was gonna fodder sturdy impact onto her. Uh, but I was going to take it from my um, my Tabarn, but I don't really want to fodder off Tabarn because he's always good in those um, resonant battles or whatever. Because he just has three movement and he just kills everything. Um, so it's kind of like, ah, I really don't want to do that. Um, but hopefully if I get her, I can fodder her thing off because I don't really care about her very much. Um, obviously I want Selena. She looks very nice in this one. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, uh, I don't want this guy. Hopefully I don't pull him. I'm um, probably going to pull a bunch of them though. Uh, and then, you know, obviously Dorothea would be pretty cool. Dorothea. Uh, and then Fjorm, a lot of people like Fjorm for her um, her weapon, her uh, isolation, but I really don't care too much. Um, probably not going to run her on, on offense anyway if I do get her, so it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, yeah, like I said, let's get in there. Um, we don't have that. Oh, look, here it is. Cool, that's awesome. We have this, um, this thing that tells you what your percentage is because now you don't have to back out every time to see um, what's going on. Uh, so we use up this thing here. Let's, let's take a look here. Come on, let's have the first one be anything. Uh, there's nothing. Uh, this is going to be a longer video than normal, obviously, because I have a lot of summons to do. Uh, let's stop. Because I have uh, a whole bunch of summons to do. Um, uh, ugh. Let's see if uh, I get... Well, it's six. It's pretty good to get stuff. Um, 
Well, it's at the bottom because you're not resetting anything. Uh, wow, so so far not not very good. <laughs> These two tickets have been wasted. Um, at least, you know, it's not... Oh my gosh. Hopefully we get a full red circle <laughs> soon because <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, what was I saying? Um, normally you want to keep track of how many summons you're doing uh, to keep track of that pity counter down there to be like, oh, should I keep going or, or whatever um, if I'm close. But I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to... Hold on. I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, actually, I'm just going to keep track of how many summons I'm doing because every five summons, you um, you increase your chances to pull one, right? The 6% the goes up. So I've done one, two, three summons. Uh, let's get in here and try again. And no red orbs, which is pretty odd how poor our luck we're having. So this is going to be a pretty good indicator of um, <laughs> things to come, I think. Um, and yeah, there's no reason like it, it's really bad that I'm having to, to summon like this. Um, all these red tickets are kind of wasted here. So that was four. This is five. Come on. Nothing. Uh, lad from afar. So these tickets were all worthless, uh, unfortunately. Well, <laughs> we still got one more. Let's see what happens. Uh, so we're on six now, and again, only one red. So our chances should be increased... Oh, uh, it should have been increased, I guess, already. So let's go take a look here. So yeah, there's 6.5. Okay. Stop. Uh, the reason you want to keep track of these numbers, like, it's not so much for that number down there. It's so much for, like, if I'm going into a circle and it's like, well, should I summon a little more to try to get out of this circle um, and, and boost the chances for the next circle? Um, that's what you want to... That's the main point of that. And there you go. Cool. So this is kind of like a good point where I'm... This is a, a good example. There's three, uh, three red orbs, so... Maybe I should summon these two blue orbs, right? Uh, just to get the whole five and then boost this up to seven if I don't get anything. Um, but, you know, I think, I feel like hopefully I'll get something here. Uh, Corrin, which I don't care about. <laughs> unfortunately, I'm going to have to go. I have a hundred slots in my uh, in my barracks. Uh, but unfortunately, I think uh, at some point in this video, I'm going to have to go and um, whatever. Uh, clean out some stuff. So, as you can see here, I'm not really getting anything. Um... Come on. That's a lot of summons to have gotten nothing. Uh, so we're at... So let's pull one of these. Just because... So this one's cheaper, right? So we can pull one of these and uh, be off. Let's see if I pull a 5-star. Okay. So that should be 7 now? Okay, so it's not 7. Um, uh, well, yeah, let's see. Let's just, let's just summon this last one just to get the full circle so we can uh, boost our chances for the next circle. Unless uh, we get pity broken, in which case that'd be, that would suck. Um, okay. So let's go back. Let's check our rates again real quick. Just for, yeah, so that's 7 now. Um, let's get in there. Reds, very good. Excellent. So this is a high chance on, all, on almost all reds. And still nothing. Uh, let's keep going here. I might summon that last blue one. Hopefully I don't get pity broken, but uh, here we go again. Lad from afar, nothing. It's actually just, it's just one of those things where, I, I, like I said last time, it's just such a huge pity um, summoning because, like, it's just such cancer. <laughs> like, you're just watching all your orbs melt away into nothing because the rates in this game are so uh, garbage. And I got the old she, or yeah, the older Sheeta. Um, and I think we'll summon here. Hopefully, I don't get pity broken just because it's blue. Come on, thank you. All right, Cordelia, that's cool. Not that I really want Cordelia's, but she's cool. Uh, let's go check our rates again. So seven point five, excellent. Uh, we're just gonna pull these two reds and get out of here. Uh, of course. Okay, 7.5. It's, it's funny that the number down there increases. There we go, there's one Sheeta. Uh, let's come over here and uh, edit this here.
Young Sheeta. Looks one. All right, let's see if that shows up right. Oh, cool. Okay, there we go. Uh, so let's take a look. What you need on Sheeta more than anything else is going to be the um, the attack boost. Uh, what was on green that I needed? I wanted the Selena, and I kind of feel like I should just summon. I want to waste these orbs like that. <sighs> Not really. That was just a really bad run. Uh, if they were blue, I think I would have pulled them, but they're green, so there's that guy I don't want, and then you know Selena's there. So let's just stop for now. Um, so so far we got one young Sheeta. <laughs> Uh, so we're back at six again. So let's uh, let's start this count again. Over. So we're about to summon twice. Let's pull this here. I think since there's two blues, I'm just gonna pull this entire circle, uh, just to boost. See if I can get the the just to boost the chance real quick. So um, let's go see what's up with that green. Let's get this. Let's get the disappointment out of the way. Uh, if that green is. Uh, whatever. So it's funny because the, the the chance I think increases right there too. Like down, you can see it's six point five. Like if I if this summon were to do, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Oh, well he's four star. Okay, cool. <laughs> I almost had a heart attack. Um, I forgot he was four star. It was kind of interesting. Um, but right there, like if this if that summon had changed it, it would go to six point five. It wouldn't really matter because when you pull like a a, a batch of orbs, and now he's refined. It's actually pretty cool now. Um. I think, uh, for those of you who saw it, um, it'll say 6.5, it doesn't really mean anything, because all the orbs were chosen before that percentage changes, so, and I'm going to need some Shigure, 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 yeah, there we go, Shigure, uh, so we should be at 6.5, yep, cool, okay, let's get back in there again, uh, we are only going to pull this one and get out of here, it's not worth it. Uh, Corin, of course. Uh, back and stop. Uh, but yeah, this is what I was talking about. Like, you just you could feel like your orbs just melting away <laughs> into nothing because just nothing <laughs> comes out of this. Uh, let's see. Stop. Back and stop. I think. Right. Yeah. So that was two in a row where we only summoned one. Uh, here's another one in a row that we're only summoning one. So these five orbs, these orbs, these, set, these sets of five orbs I'm spending on these are kind of getting me nowhere. Um, let's see. Back and stop. Okay, so now it's two more. So this is good because one and two gets me the get should get me to seven percent uh, after these. Uh, Hannah. Sorry, Hannah, but your uh, X version is infinitely better. Uh, let's come over here, pull this, let's boost our chances here. So at 6.5 now, after this, it should be 7. And Roy. Oh, I already got a plus 10 Roy, so <laughs> sorry, Roy, but I'm going to fire you off for uh, feathers. Okay, appearance rates, 7. Okay, cool, excellent. So we're, we're keeping good track of this. Uh, of course, only one this time. Okay, so nothing. Uh, they're all blues, so it could be beneficial. The rest of them are blue, so it could be it could be beneficial, but I'd rather not waste the seven percent on it. Uh, let's summon here. So this is two, two. Uh, Athena. Let's try it here. Either Athena or Titania was like my first five star ever. Uh, let's back out here. Well, I'm too short of boosting this chance. I think I'm just going to summon these two. Hopefully, I don't. Uh, let's try not to get. Uh, break our pity here. Here's whoever this guy, Volbar. Uh, so after this summon here, I should have. Uh, 7.5% if I don't get some if I don't summon a five star cool Perfect, uh, let's back out stop Let's go check this again. Yep 7.5 cool Perfect 
And of course, uh, green. Well, I need echidnas, so I'm just gonna summon green. Uh, okay, that was a one summon there. Merrick. You know what I do need? I need young Merrick. I needed a young Merrick because I needed that um, <laughs> the wind sweep for. Uh, so we got two here. And this isn't really worth summoning the, the next two, so I'm just gonna pull these two and get out. Come on. Okay. Soleil. And uh, let's see who this is. And Olivia. Cool. So let's back out of here and um, back in this. Well, let's see. This next one's four, so yeah, let's just stop. Um, our appearance rate is still 7.5, yep. <laughs> okay, two reds. So this is perfect because not only am I hitting two reds here, but these two reds will also increase my chance afterwards if I don't summon. So I'll be at 8%. Uh, Erica. And let's summon this one. Uh. Oof. So nothing. Uh, let's back out. Stop. Wait a minute. Something went wrong. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, so it doesn't change. Okay, so it doesn't update real time. So I did that last summon. It didn't show me like, oh, here's what your, so what your thing was. Okay, so here's one. Okay. It didn't update to show me like, oh, this is um. Okay, so it updates afterwards. Okay, so that's because more kind of what I was worried about. Because the rates, even it's like, oh, now now it's like after this summon I did, after that summon I did where this guy was here, oh, now it's 8%. We knew on the outside, we knew it was 8%, but it didn't update in there because these orbs are chosen before. Like, once you go in, these orbs don't fluctuate, right? Those, whatever's hidden behind the five orbs is hidden behind the five orbs, right? It's not like, oh, once you reveal it, then we'll see what it is. No, it's already there. You're just kind of showing what it is. So if you didn't get a five star in that circle, you didn't get a five star in that circle. There's really nothing else to it. So two more. I might just summon that blue just to get the boost here if I don't get anything, just because I'm at four with these two. Uh, Soleil. Uh, hopefully I don't get this. This doesn't reset me here, but let's do it. Oh, oh, well, I kind of needed her anyway, but, um, yeah, that's all right. Um, do I want to summon the rest of these? I think I better. 8% is not that bad. Uh, so we're at 2, so we're going to... Okay. Uh, I was just kind of hoping I could get the, <laughs> the Selena there, and we'll see if we can get a Dorothea here. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I don't have to fodder off my uh, Tabarn for his um, for his thing. I can just use her. Um, now I'm gonna have to do a bunch of HM farming in the uh, the whatever. No, oh, actually, let's not have that there. Let's put this down here. Okay. So again, <laughs> not getting a lot of red orbs these days. Uh, let's stop. So as you can see here, we're not having, like for those of you who actually watched that video, we're not having remotely anywhere near uh, the luck that they were having um, on that video. Uh, which is, you know, like I said, it's always something to, to, to keep in mind is, you know, more often than not, you're just not, it's not going to go well for you um, comparatively anyway. Uh, let's just get one more just to uh, boost the pity here. So this will be a five. Okay. So I have lost 180 orbs and I've only got one Sheeta. So obviously, uh, considerably less rates, uh, poorer rates than last time, than that video. Borderland Athena. Uh, I'm gonna summon three here. Sorry, hold on, let me. Okay. Uh, let's pull this one. Uh, fortunately for us, the blue 
Uh, the blue pool is um, full of units we want, so, you know, the blue pool isn't too bad. It's the green pool that I'm most worried about. Um, and the colorless pool as well. Uh, okay, so we're going to summon these two blues just to get the... To boost the chances here. Uh, we'll summon this one here. So we should be seven percent after this if we don't get pity broken by a uh, a pala or another uh, whatever her name is. I actually don't know her name. Patrine. That was the horse cavalry unit's name <laughs> that I'm boosting right now. Patrine. I can't believe I forgot that. Um, her name is Ingrid. Yeah, I kind of knew it, but I kind of didn't. Uh, so let's see. So we are at at seven percent now, and there's nothing in this orb, in this circle. <laughs> okay, so let's back and stop. I guess this is probably the the one video, or well, I mean, most videos you want to watch them at more than whatever speed, whatever the base speed is. But this is, is a video in particular. You probably want to watch it at like double speed because there's not a whole lot happening. Um, I guess I could talk about some of the changes to Aether Raids. Uh, so we're getting more for offense. We're also losing more on defense, which basically means that my light season, my light season right now is already uh, pretty rough, not because of my offense. My offense does fine, uh, but because of my defense. Like, my defense loses me like two, 300 uh, lift <laughs> per season. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, it's not a whole, else, a whole lot else to say. Uh, the fact that we're losing more on 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 defense uh, is going to be harder on some on some people than it is other people, um, which is what I'm trying to patch up with here. And we're going to go for this blue just to get the pity reset here. Not the pity reset. The um the the, the increase to five percent. So it's, it says seven down there, and when we get out, it should be seven point five. Uh, but yeah, so that that's kind of um. That's kind of fun. That's going to be fun. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, not a whole lot else to say. Um, what I do like, though, is the fact that we get um, at least one one unit. The bonus unit, the bonus unit rotation will always include a mythic, which is pretty good. Um, I know for those of you who watch, um, those of you who watch. Uh, what's his name? Phoenix Master 1's videos. I know he was kind of like, he didn't like that very much. He wasn't too big a fan of that. Um, because, well, I don't know. Just because you got to keep, you know, having rotation. But I think for most of us, we have, I mean, Triple Mythic is already something you're running, right? A lot of us are running. Uh, but all this does is now you're not locked in with a bonus unit. Now you have more freedom. And, you know, if you're playing Aether Rage, you should already have Triple Mythic set up, right? Like, you should be... That should be your goal. You should have all three of them. Um, unfortunately, the problem is that I think he's... So this is after this circle. I've got boosted. The problem that he's, he, I think he's pointing out is that, like, there's going to be more, right? So right now, there's only three light and three dark, I think. Something like that. I think so. Three three light and three astra. Um, oh my gosh, I'm getting so jobbed on these rates. Uh, stop back and stop. Right? Yeah, so we should be at, um, up. yeah, so I think that's what he's worried about mainly is that like now you're going to have to keep some, because right now it's like, oh, you have three and you just stick with those three and you're, you're, you're basically solid, right? Um, and I think this is going to be a five star watch. Well, it's this guy. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I love this guy now. He's not, uh, <laughs> he's not, I, and I haven't gotten him as a five star. So pretty happy about that. Um, so we summoned one there. So we're still on the same 8% here. But yeah, I think that the worry is they're going to have more. Oh my gosh, this is a disgusting circle. The worries are going to have more than... Um... Yes, finally. Uh, let's go put her in there. Uh, let's see, X. Hopefully this fits on here. I, I think it might not. Oh, cool. Uh, so there we go, cool. Uh, let's go see what she got. Her, specifically, you want the speed boon. The attack boon is pretty good, too. But you want the speed boon because she gets a super boon in, in speed. And since I'm dropping the attack speed push, she, she's going to need more speed than um, she otherwise might. 
Uh, so that's kind of what the point is there. Um, we're at eight percent. Do I really want to spend what? Four four is eight plus four four is twelve plus that three is fifteen orbs. Uh, I think not. So I think I'm just gonna back out. Stop. Um, so there we go. We got that. That's reset. So we're gonna summon this here. Uh, but yeah, I think that the fear is that they're gonna have more than one, uh, more than what we have now. So you're gonna have to have like. You have to pull. Whoa, there you go. You're gonna have to pull four, um, four of the new, four mythic units, right? Like if there's four, you got to pull four of them just to have one whenever the bonus unit is is there. But I think that's fine because basically, whenever your mythic unit is not in the bonus rotation, you just have to play it the way you did before, right? You have to play the way you play now, um, but with this change going forward. You just have more options more often, right? Not all the time, right? Because sometimes, like he says, you're going you're to be missing that unit. And I might be misunderstanding what... I didn't really pay attention too much to what he was complaining about. I thought it was a universally good thing. So when he said that, I was kind of confused. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know... He, he knows better than I, so um, if you have any uh, thoughts... Oh, look, there's a plus attack, so that'd be cool. Um... If you have any, if you want to, you know, take my word or his word, I would suggest taking his word for it. But just to me, it seemed like I, I really couldn't understand why he um, thought it was a bad thing. Um, so, you know, take that as you will. Uh, let's get back in here again. So we're, we're so far, we're getting more young Sheetas than we are uh, young pa uh, Summer Violets. Which isn't necessarily good nor necessarily bad. Oh, there you go. So there's our, our uh, <laughs> the law of averages. Uh, to some degree is paying off here and, and uh, rewarding us for uh, for our lost orbs there. So hopefully this is a plus speed. Yes, cool. So basically uh, we're already everything after this is basically profit, right? Because we got one merge on each one and then the boon that they need. Um, and at a plus one is where the most important one is until you reach the plus two, then it's the plus four, and then it's the plus eight, and then it's the plus ten. So. Um, we're basically already kind of solid for now. Um, so anything after this is, is just gains. So hopefully we get the plus floor, so we need uh, three more, right? Because we're at plus one, yeah, we need three more, so stop. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, let's get back in here again. Okay, so we got two this time. <laughs> but yeah, so like I said, if, if you're going to take anybody's word for it, I would take uh, Phoenix Master 1s. He, he, I'm sure he can predict how these things will affect the game better than I can. Um, but just to me, it was like, well, you know, I'm already running, uh, I don't have the triple mythic in both seasons, but I'm already running, you know, basically triple mythics. And, you know, you're assuming basic triple mythics going in, which means that whenever a season comes around where it's that one, well, there you go, you already have it in your team. So now that third, that, that fifth slot that you had to reserve every single time for the, um, for the bonus unit, now you don't have to worry about it so much. I'm going to pull all three of these blues just to get the, the pity increase. Um, and I could use with a... Um, I could do with a another Pala merge, of course. Um, but yeah, so that, that's kind of the way I thought about it. Um, one of the things... Unfortunately, this does make Aether Raids a lot, more e a lot easier. Uh, which a lot of people are kind of a, a, an opponent of. Or they, they kind of feel, I guess, not... It's not necessarily a super like negative thing they feel. It's just sort of like... It's not something you kind of want, right? Because if you watch Tacho's videos, I mean, he kind of sums it up pretty well where it's like, oh, you know, Aether Age is basically becoming a joke these days. Um, and, and kind of to some degree, I, I'd agree with that, right? It kind of is. But um, I think what that means is that, like, now that we'll have more offense capabilities, there's also going to be more defense capabilities, right? So not only can we have six units now, right? I think he mentioned something where it's like, because of the way it's set up, uh, stop, because of the way it's set up, um... You can just have like a suicide strike. Oh no, I think okay, never mind. I think it made the offense actually. I'm, I might have misinterpreted that. It made the offense better, right? Because you can lose a unit on offense and still gain the maximum lift. I think. Um, which there you go. This is another thing why it's making it you know pretty bad. But I think we'll have the advantage on attacking right now. Uh, back stop. We'll have the advantage on attacking right now. But I think as that new mythic comes out that uh, boosts how many slots you have on your defense team, I think when that one comes out, it'll even out a little bit. Um, will it make it like 100% better? Not really, but you know, it is what it is. Let's see. 
And that, and we're gonna pull on this last colorless orb. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, we've like, especially Tacho and, and a lot of us, right? And I, I, I use him as an example, but I'm not like, you know, I'm not trying to call him out or anything, nothing like that. Um, but like that's been said before, right? A lot of people like they're always going off about how Aether Age is dead or Arena's dead and all this stuff, and there's still people playing all these modes and competing on in all these modes effectively, even without having to be like super whales or anything, right? So I think that's something to keep in mind, is that um, either the mode dies or it doesn't die. I mean, it's, that's all there is to it, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm still going to play it until I feel like it's not it's not fun anymore. And basically what the bottom line is, it's not fun to, like, sit there and analyze units, and here's a, here's a pleasant surprise. Um, let's go see. Well, I, I'm checking boons and mains now, even though I don't really need to, considering I already got them all. Um, so there you go, uh, another Summer Byleth here. So, all right, we're, we're doing pretty good, I think. We're not doing uh, as poorly as I would have uh, thought we would have done. Oh, I forgot to put uh, Ingrid here. Uh, let's put Ingrid at X1 here. Okay. There she is. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's go back. Um, oh, well, I should have summoned on that blue orb, but it is what it is. Um... <clears throat> So if you were to ask me which one I want more, um, I think for those of you who, who watched like previous videos, I mentioned that if it, if it came down to choosing between Summer Byleth, there we go, Summer Byleth and um, plus four, or four, if it came down to choosing between Summer Byleth and, uh, what's her name? Uh, stop. And uh, Young Sheeta, it was going to be Summer Byleth just because I think she's, she's a lot better. Um, Young Sheeta is just a sort of a... Uh, a good addition, uh, especially because once we'll have the the six units, I can run the two mythics and all and both of them. Right now, like I have to, well, <clears throat> we'll go over that later. Uh, maybe in another video, or probably at the end of this video, depending on how long how long this takes, which usually takes a while. Uh, redeem. All right, so we're at four. Let's see what we get here. Okay, redeem. So this is two units we're pulling here. Uh, let's summon this. But yeah. Uh, what else could we talk about? Um, the new unit. I like the new unit. Uh, I, I talked about it at the beginning, but I like this like kind of new aesthetic we're get, we're getting into um, of like the machines and all that stuff. He he remind he said it reminded him of Advanced Wars or, or Tactics Wars or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what he what um, what Phoenix Master One said and, and what other people said because obviously I watch their videos all the time. Because they are very useful. Um, but to me, I got more of a Final Fantasy, like, 6 vibe or 3 vibe. I don't remember which one it was. But, like, you know, there's all those little mechs in there. And um, that's kind of what I what I got from that. Um, which I, I think is pretty cool. Uh, actually, well... Mm, um, just summon the color. Oh, I got to summon on green because I need echidnas. Oh, there's Kazi. I need attack smokes, too. I'm kind of running low. I think I'll have, like, four. Uh back and stop uh, our rates are right now six so I think I'm at four <laughs> hopefully that's right uh, let's see here green unfortunately so after this it should be 6.5 if I don't get a five star here uh, if my if my numbers are right I think I've messed up my numbers here somewhere uh, fortunately, I was kind of worried that I wasn't going to have... Okay, that's cool. So my numbers are right. I was going to worry... I was kind of worried that I wasn't going to have a... Um, uh, what's it called? A wind sweep in time for... Uh, look, there's Sophia. I, actually, I've always wanted to make like a plus 10 Sophia, but... Uh, I don't really have the orbs and the, the resource... Well, not the orbs. I think I have enough copies. Well, actually, I'm not sure, but... So, um, but... Uh, I just don't have the feathers right now. Especially right now. Uh, <clears throat> but it is what it is. Uh, cool, so we got two two reds here. But yeah, I like that aesthetic. I, I look forward to seeing more units with this like like mecha kind of thing. I'm not the biggest fan of mecha anime. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I mean I'm not like I'm not super into robots in in my anime and all that kind of stuff. I mean I don't mind though. I mean a good anime is a good anime whether that stuff's there or not, right? Um, whether there's bots in there is sort of irrelevant, right? Um, and stop. But, uh, yeah, I'm not like, oh, yeah, I love Mecha. I love Gear and Log, and I love, oh, wow, this is a perfect orb. 
here with a almost perfect. Um, I'm gonna summon all five of these. Okay. Um, but I'm not like yeah, like it's not like oh, Garen Logan's one of my favorite shows or anything like that. It's just like you know, I'm indifferent to Mecha. A good anime is a good anime, whether it's Mecha in there or not, right? It's, you know, sort of irrelevant. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the point I wanted to make was I'd like to see like interesting stuff in this game and you know I like the Mirage sessions because they were like like I mean I've mentioned before they're just basically um, a bunch of characters with Jojo stands um, so that was pretty cool when they added when they got added um, and it's just cool to see new new things I mean while we play Fire Emblem for the aesthetic and like you know the little knight and all that stuff and, and the swords and, and all that um, it's nice to see sort of uh, changes in, in, in there hey look there's a nest and let's stop so our rates should be 7.5 or 7. Um, if I summon two more, it should be at 7.5. Oh, perfect. I'll say I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm eager. Like her herself, she's not exactly my type of unit. Like I said, I'm not like super into that um, type. Um, but uh, going forward, I'm, I'm, I'm anxious, not anxious, but like I'm curious to see what, what, what comes next. You know, what, what other units we can get next. Or what other like mecha variants of current units we have we can get if we get them at all right and cool um, another thing that I think is interesting is that's on the horizon is of course the uh, the um, the the winter summon the winter um, what's it called the winter units and all that stuff the Christmas stuff um, do I think let's back and stop while um, Ugh, it's disgusting. Uh, why, like I said, you'd love to hold out as long as you can, but unfortunately these are the last few days, so I'm just going to let them all go here and, uh, and kind of just be satisfied with what I got for the moment. Um, those were two back there, so I got one here. Stop. Uh, I think I messed up the count somewhere, so we'll see. I'll keep track of this now. 7.5. Um, oof, I'm getting poor uh, luck here. This one should be four, unless it's three. That's what I'm, I think I might have counted one double. Hey, Ileana, Ileana. Um, she actually, I, I wanted to, like, she was another, like, oh, maybe possible plus 10 um, that I was thinking about. Um, and she got a plus attack, so that's pretty cool. I don't know how much her speed is, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how that is. I think she has a super boon in res. I think someone said that at one point. Um, so let's go check this again. 7.5. So... If I'm if my numbers are right, this next one should give me the pity, which fortunately there's only one red orb on here, or it should give me the boost. Hey, look at regular. <laughs> I look at regular Sheeta, and she looks now she looks a lot more like young Sheeta, which is kind of funny. Um. Oh no. Uh. Okay, I'll be back. All right, and uh, and we're back. Um. What am I looking for here? My thingy. Okay. Um. So yeah, I, I was off here. Um. So that one should have gotten me to eight, right? So I need one more. Um, let's get in there. I forgot what I was on about <laughs> before that happened. I think I was on about this. I wasn't sure about the count. Um, let's get this one. And I should be at eight after this. So let's go check that. Stop. There we go. Cool. Okay. So I think my count, I don't know. I don't remember. But yeah, um, I am as curious as anyone to see the new uh, summer units because I think they're going to be or the new winter units because uh, winter is my favorite um, kind of my favorite season. Summer, uh, uh, Christmas being my favorite holiday. Um, let's go over here. Uh, but unfortunately, I am sort of overpowered by the need for a summer waifu. <laughs> unfortunately. Um, Byleth and Rhea are just too too hard to pass up. <laughs> uh, stop. Okay, so um, let's go in here. Uh, two. Okay. One, two. I think I might just summon one of these greens. I, uh, dude, I swear. Uh, just to get, because I'm one away from boosting the pity for the next circle. Oh, okay, never mind. I guess I'm gonna have to summon. I guess I should summon these anyway. Um, let's just pull these. Uh, 
Hey, look, it's racing. Uh, racing's pretty good, but I just liked um, Lulina. I think I don't know what the uh, actually don't know what the other one I should be throwing names out. Uh, I liked his sister better. Uh, unfortunately, his sister's five star locked, which is kind of annoying. Um, but it is what it is. And that was a waste of orbs. Um, yeah, that was horrible. Uh, I don't know why I'm checking these, but still, I just want to see. And we finally, and there we go. We got a plus 10. Uh, uh, a plus 10. <laughs> yeah, we got a plus 10, right? Uh, we got a plus 4 um, Byleth. <laughs> so this is what we kind of want to ask ourselves whether we want to keep going. Because uh, Byleth was the main one. Sheeta was just kind of a uh, an, an addition to that. Um, let's try our luck here. Uh, now that that's reset over there. So this first one is free, so let's just do it. <laughs> Come on, Triandra. Ah. I forget what else is on this banner, actually. Um, the red... I need a, a Lysithia. And nothing, okay. Um, back and stop. I think I'm going to blow some orbs on this, just... Uh, try to get um, at least Triandra. Uh, so red kind of sucks, but I do need the Lysithia. I think I'm going to go for Colorless, so green and Colorless is better, so I'm going to do that. Because I do, I would like one of those uh, Colorless Corns there. And cool, we got an excellent uh, batch here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Ooh. No, oh, it's this guy. Who cares? Mustafa, the Mustafa system. Uh, yeah, so we'll we'll, we'll we'll see how we go. Cause I need to pull, I need to pull four more Violets, and I don't think that's gonna happen, especially because like there's gonna be young Sheetas along the way, which of course I don't like. Like I said, I don't mind necessarily getting young Sheeta. Um, but Bylas is like the main focus here. And we'll see if we get a Lysithia. Come on, you know you want to. Damn it. <laughs> That's good. That was almost the other Elliewood. Um, unfortunately, I'm only gonna I'm just gonna leave after one um, after one five star. Because um, otherwise this isn't worth it. Especially the blue isn't worth it either. Uh, so here we get two more. I think I'm gonna pull one more. Uh, I'm gonna pull one of these blues anyway, just to get the the nine percent on the next one. Nino, I like Giga Nino, the flying Nino, um, but she's five star lock, which is kind of annoying. Okay, cool. We didn't get reset there. Okay, so we're at uh, nine percent pity, which is good. Summon. Uh, and we got a pretty good a pretty good circle. Uh, that would have been better if that was a f that was a red orb instead of a blue orb. So I'm gonna pull all five of these just to get the next pity, the next pity increase. Hey, there's an echidna. Uh, echidna as a merge project is kind of like throwing money into like the void. <laughs> resources into the void because like I'm just gonna plus 10 her just cuz I already said I was gonna plus 10 her <laughs> but it's just sad putting those resources into her because you know on the horizon oh please don't be the, the five star okay cool cuz you know on the on the horizon um, she's just gonna like uh, you're gonna make eventually you're gonna do a plus 10 Hannah right for at least I am anyway. Uh, we should be at uh, 9.5. Yep. At least I'm gonna have a plus 10 uh, Hannah. I'm gonna go for a plus 10 Hannah. So, it, I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's just kind of like one of those things that it's funny, like thinking, oh, I still want to do this, but <laughs> it's not worth it. All right, we're actually losing a lot of orbs here. Mm -hmm. So we got two here. I really hope I get a Triandra after all this. Um, <laughs> uh, come on, let's do one more. 
Oof. Uh, let's do these two colorless and then get out of here. Um, I really need colorless. I would want the legendary Corin, but I more than anything, I really do need the um, the the what's his name? Whatever his name is, the the bow. Ugh, I'm like just horrible with names in this game. Um, what's his name? Shinnin. There we go. I need Shinnin. Um, I, I hope I don't get him, but his uh, attack res push might be pretty useful. Uh, but I really need Shinnin more than anything, because to, to, like, I think I mentioned in the last video, to get all his fodder, you need, um, two copies of him, and I already have one Shinnin. Uh, okay. We're just gonna summon one and get out of here. Okay. <laughs> that took a little longer, I was worried. Uh, back and stuff. Okay, so that should be 10% pity rate, which is pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Come on, full green orbs. Ugh. Please don't pity break me here. Ah, well, at least it's Shinin. Uh, it's ten percent, so we're just gonna summon the whole orb, the whole, uh, the whole set here. Uh, which is good. I, I wanted a Shinin. I mean, I would have liked to have another um, defensive mythic. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, what else could we get here? I mean, the female Corrin would be pretty fantastic if I pulled her out of this this orb here. Uh, Norn, <laughs> sadly enough, um, I don't know. I don't need Norn anymore, so that was kind of a waste. Uh, blue, who's in blue? Legendary Azra would be pretty cool. Sateth is here. A lot of people like Sateth um, for like a plus ten flyer, but eh, not too uh, not too down with it. Hey, I need another Tharja. I was one Tharja off of a plus ten. My Tharja right now is a plus eight. Um, so I can finally plus 10 my Tharja. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, HP. Well, that doesn't really matter. I already have the boon I want. Uh, so that was kind of uh, anticlimactic, almost. Um, yeah, so that was one. Uh, let's go put that over here. I, I don't know how to spell his name. Uh, let me go see what his name actually is here. Shinon. Oh, it's one N. Mm. Uh, X1. Okay. There we go. Uh, I don't actually know which one I got. Uh, so what I'm what I'm gonna do with him is I am going to give all of this stuff to Norn, uh, and I'm gonna turn Norn into like a just like a tanker more than a vantage sweeper. So I'm gonna give her times pulse uh, and the low attack speed three, and she's gonna keep the close foil. Uh, so she's just gonna sit there and brawl with everybody, uh, theoretically anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, if anything, I'm probably going to take, she's going to take all these skills just to have them. Um, but I think I'm going to give her, uh, what was the other thing? Maybe like an attack smoke here just to drop everybody's attack to make it easier for her to fight with them and not take so much damage. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. I hope this is, the sound is on my end. I'm gonna put that down just in case it's not on my end only. Uh, and I guess the question is, do I want to summon here? And I really don't, so let's just get these tickets out of the way. Hopefully we get, I'm just gonna be pulling, I'm gonna be sniping on red because I really want her. Another copy of her. And we got Leith instead, so I don't know what the, what that was about. Well, at least the good thing is, I mean, it was on the first, on the first summon, right? So that's pretty, I guess that's pretty lucky. Uh, let's go see what she has. I can't believe we got a five star, but it was the one. It wasn't the one like on the banner. That's so ridiculous. Um, and I mean, no, it's kind of like it would happen. Uh, does she have any good fodder, or is she just like? I think I have a copy of her already. Yeah, speed defense solo, and yeah, she, oh man, she's not even very good for fodder. Ah, uh, so that's that's that is what it is. I mean, you can't really complain. It was off of a free ticket. So I get five summons. Hopefully one of these is her. Come on. Hey, look, it's Marth. <laughs> I can't believe that. It's just so sad to see that happen. Um, <laughs> I 
Hey, <laughs> wow, what is with the luck on this banner? Uh, so here's uh, here's another another um, a green. So I have two greens that are there for fodder. So I can either give somebody special spiral or pulse smoke, or what I wish I could, what I kind of want to do is give someone special spiral and give one because I can give. I can fodder one to eat to two different units, or I can give one unit both of them, right? Um, because basically you give them special spiral two, at, up to special spiral one and two, pull smoke one and two, and then um, after that you fodder off life and death four, uh, special spiral three, and special smoke, uh, pull smoke three to that one unit. Um, but yeah, that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm almost, I'm, I'm like very tempted to just like spend some orbs and pull on this, and I will. Uh, that's a bad decision, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, I forgot to update the list. Let's put this here. Um, a green. So that's two in a row. You have six percent to pull. A five star, and then it, that that once you get that fifth, that uh, six percent, it's a fifty fifty on which one you pull, whether it's on banner or off banner. And I have failed that coin flip twice. Um, the fact that oh well, <laughs> they're baiting me. They're baiting me. I'm just gonna pull these three red orbs, um, <laughs> just because I feel like it. Uh, I'm so disgusted with myself for being baited right now so easily. Hey, it's Byleth. Why couldn't I? <laughs> oh my gosh, why is everything here so, uh, what's the word? Just like backhanded. It's like, I got three reds. None of them were the red I wanted from the banner. And then one red that I did kind of want. I mean, I, a green is always nice. But the one red that I did want, well, that I did kind of want, was a eventually a Byleth. But I got the male Byleth. Ugh disgusted with myself uh mainly for just being ungrateful um but yeah so there you go there's a male by list. i don't know if he has any fodder oh wait oh i forgot let's let's change that here oh well uh we'll have to deal with the uh that's pretty um odd is what it is oh uh, yeah i forgot the only so i'm not gonna keep him just because i really don't care about uh him whatsoever uh, but what I do care about is the Ruptured Sky, because that is a ridiculously good special. Um, I don't know who to give it to, though. Um, but fortunately, he has Disencounter, too, so I can give that to someone and have him have, like, a wicked special. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't know he came with Disencounter. I don't know what the female Byleth comes with. I, I thought, I kind of figured they had the same thing, but... Um, yeah, so, there we go. Uh, Dragon, uh, what's it called? Um... Ruptured Sky Fodder is basically all this is. Uh, but there you go. That's, that's Sometimes you get baited and sometimes it uh, turns out all right in the end. <laughs> uh, this case, who's the blue? I think the blue's pretty good, right? <laughs> the colorless is just that girl. So I think I'm just going to go with blue just in case. We pull anything off of this. And hey, it's Katria. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Uh, so basically, every, you know, I mean, look at look at all that stuff over there on the right. That's, on, that's, a, that's quite a bit of stuff. Um, yeah, I guess there's not much else to do but keep summoning on this. Then I, I already pulled what I was gonna pull and uh, got what I was gonna get. Um, Spyleth, and yeah, so let's just keep going. I guess there's not much else to do it. Uh, let's pull this blue. So this this is refreshed. So we're at one here. It's this weird. This guy reminds me. For those of you who play Custom Robo, which is a great game, by the way, um, I highly recommend if you don't, haven't played it before. Um, <laughs> for those of you who played Custom Robo, uh, that guy reminds me of one of the mechs. One of the guys, like he, he, he. he there's him himself, and he uses one of the mechs. He's your neighbor. He's kind of fat. Oh, they're both kind of fat. No, <laughs> they're all kind of fat, actually, but. 
not that that's like a bad thing. It's just like, you know, they're, they're a bit chunky. Uh, let's stop summoning here. Um, yeah, he's your neighbor and he has like, it's funny cause his bot just matches him. And it, it, that reminds me of that. It's like him and his bot. So there's one more, uh, Sheeta three. Very cool. Hmm. I'm trying to like, I'm still kind of in the process of thinking about, I went up to 6.5. I'm not sure why. Summon. Okay, so we're back at a fresh start again here. So let's pull this too. Uh, Soleil. Um, but I forgot what it was on about. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm still kind of thinking about who to give Ruptured Sky to and the Distant Counter. Um, there's not a whole lot of, like, I mean, I'll probably give it to Roy or something like that. Like, Roy Special Spiral with that would be, like, the ultimate dragon. Because one of the things I've been I've been realizing these days is that, like, there's a lot of dragons, especially, like, the new Colorless, like, the, like the Colorless Core in both of them, anyway. Oh, cool. So I have one, two. So after these three, I should have the, the next pity. Um, the, the, new, the, new, the new dragons are, like, a huge pain for my Roy, you know, <laughs> first gen unit Roy, even though he has a resplendent ult, uh, to handle all on his own. Uh, but with Ruptured Sky and Special Spiral, he's basically just like, he can't lose against dragons anymore, I think. I think, right? Because uh, basically, you, you charge the Special Spiral the first time, and then after that, it's like, oh, look, another another Byleth. Very nice. Cool. So I, I, I'm super happy we're getting more Byleths than we are getting um, uh, Sheetahs. Let's pull this one here. So let's take a look at my orbs right now in a second. Nope, nothing. Back and stop. So I have 480 orbs. This is what that other video went into this summoning session with, right? And they got five and five. So let's kind of see how our results match up to theirs with the 480. Now I've spent more than 480 already and I've kind of gotten if we were to take one of those Bylets and add it to the um, to the Sheeta, uh, we'd have five Bylets and four Sheetas, which is a bit lower than than you know ideal than what they when they, than what she got. As well as uh, the Ingrid, they got two uh, what's her names, two Palas, two young Palas, and they didn't get any Ingrids, which you know it is what it is. Uh, so it's very interesting to see, but fortunately, uh, at least they're more concentrated in Byleth in my case than than for her case. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's pull this one. This is a one. Uh, so long Q. I think he has Vantage, which I was running short on those two. Um, yes, I am one of those people who wants to turn everybody into a Vantage unit. <laughs> to a, yeah. Um, Vantage and Fury are like the two biggest, um, the two main skills I need, I need for like just foddering off in general. Like it's like, oh, I want to build this unit. And I just like something generic it's like i'll either make him a vantage unit or i'll just give him uh, fury and then just like figure out what to do later uh, so here's another one summon which is kind of disappointing uh morgan morgan freeman backstop uh wow these are some pretty atrocious uh rates here i think i'm just gonna pull on uh, one of those blues um Summon, redeem, pull a blue here. Oh, cool. Thea. I made the mistake of investing into Akatria when Thea was probably better uh, in the long run, but neither of them ended up staying on my flyer ball anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, cool. So two reds. Hey, there's another one. Wouldn't it be great if we had a if we got a plus ten Byleth out of this? Like that would be fantastic. Like you wouldn't you wouldn't believe how happy I'd be. Um, my first plus ten. Um, what's what's the word? Plus ten, like pay to win unit, without having to pay to win, which is pretty cool. Damn it, I forgot to show. Ugh, I'm such a retard. Uh, pardon the language. Uh, yeah, I forgot to show. 
uh, the so as you can see see here I didn't buy any of these packs they're still here is there more what is this look at the December pack this is actually pretty ridiculous ten dollars for this but these grails are always very useful I might I might actually buy that later uh, so I guess it was just one more it looked like there was a whole bunch more yeah, I guess it was just one more um, yeah so I mean yeah you can see those are still there uh, let's go see if um, this is working again customer support if it doesn't work that's gonna suck so much but I tried to show you guys last time and it wouldn't let me yeah so it's still it doesn't matter I could whether I was gonna show it or not so I don't know why that's not working I tried you know you can't even co contact customer support like just like talk to someone about it either because it doesn't let you um, so don't really know what to do about that uh, my rates were reset but I think I summoned one so I think I wonder if that one carries over since I summoned afterwards so let's let's, let's Let's uh, experiments, I guess. Oh, very cool. So one, two, three, and I think I'm gonna summon that blue as well. Uh, so there's Laszlo. I think Laszlo has quick repost fodder. Oh, he has noontime fodder. That's what he had, yeah. Uh, long queue, somebody, I, I just don't remember anymore. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull these four and see if it joins with that one that I pulled last time. Um. Yeah, and because it should be six point five after this, if if it counted that one. Night of Lycia. Okay, let's do this one. Come on. Hey, Mordecai is pretty good. He uh, he's got attack defense link, which is probably one of the more useful ones. Uh, the main one I think everybody wants is going to be attack uh, attack speed link. Just the attack speed is okay. So that works cool. Uh, attack speed is like oh. Just stack attack and speed on everybody. Um, but the attack defense link, I think, is pretty useful too. I think any of them. I guess. I guess any of them that give you attack is going to be uh, very good. So I need four more byliths. Will I get them? Who knows? <laughs> I got to rise though. Uh, back and stop. Yeah, because like. Byleth could use a ruptured sky, obviously. I'm gonna summon these two reds and then like just pick a blue. Um Byleth could use these two uh ruptured sky. But she already has ruptured sky, like the, the, the summer Byleth, but she already has it already, so there's no real reason to put it on her. Um Sheeta could also pretty pretty much use it, but I'd be wasting distant counter fodder and I really don't want to be doing that. Um so yeah, I don't know. I it's a bit of a um quantum conundrum, as one might say. Well, there's nothing quantum about it. it just, there, was, there was a game called Quantum Conundrum. It was on my brain for some reason. I'm going to just summon this one because it'll it's it's one towards the next one. Uh, and it's cheaper. It's a four orb summon. And I didn't think I was going to get anything anyway. Well, I've gotten no extra... Stop. I've gotten no extra... What's it called? Let's go see our pity rate. Seven. Yep. Perfect. Uh, no extra young palas, which is kind of sad. Uh, so we're going to pull these two. One, two. Oh, Erica. She always looks like a five star. Like you look at her and there's so much yellow and gold on her. Your brain is like, oh, that's a five star. But it's just like, is it though? Uh, hey, look, Kanata, more uh, fury fodder. You can always use fury. Uh, let's go again. So I think all in all, I'm pretty satisfied with how this went. Um, Let's go with uh, blue. Hopefully this doesn't reset us here. Come on. Damn it. Wow, there's another Ingrid. I can't believe that. Um, let's go over here. Well, we've officially gone um, too far with Ingrid. Um, not Well, not necessarily too far, just that... Uh, like, it's always good to have fodder around but there's no one i'm using that's going to need a sturdy impact um other than the byleth uh this guard bearing as we most of us should know is, is very useful but yeah i don't know i mean it's, it's all right it's just not very like good i might i'm probably going to put it on my my 
Camilla at some point. I mean, I, I'd probably put her on my Camilla at some point and see how that see how that turns out. But um, you yeah, know, we'll see. I, what I want for my Camilla more than anything is going to be a Pegasus flight because that's a lot of attack reduction as well as um, defense reduction. So you can you know retaliate back and hit them pretty hard. Mm. So my thing is reset. So let's just go in here. Start another one with this green one because I want to see if I can get the um, Selena. <laughs> this guy keeps coming out. Back and stop. So I should be at one now. Here, my little notebook here. My handy dandy notebook for those of you who used to watch Blue's Clues. Ah, oh, gosh damn, I'm so old. Uh, nothing here. So that's another one. Wow, it's gonna be like a two-hour summoning video. Ah, I don't know why I did that. Uh, ugh. I shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna get pity broken by uh, what's his name for that for my crimes. Hey, it's Ross, the um, worse, <laughs> worse uh, echidna. Stop. Uh, uh, nothing again for some reason. I'm gonna pull these two blues just to get the the pity increase. Cordelia, I really, I really want to make a Cordelia, um, but I don't have Dive Bomb, which is the one thing that like m basically makes Cordelia now. Um, yeah, so back and stop. I think Cordelia, Cordelia, Cordelia would. Oh man, like you just make such a such a really strong Cordelia. Let's go check the appearance rates. Six point five, perfect. I can make a really strong Cordelia, um, like Dive Bomb. A, a speed defense rain and then I don't know like whatever you want in the um, in the a slot uh, let's see two here actually yeah what did I I had something on her a slot that was like really dumb I don't know probably just life and death three or four or I you know just yeah like I said there's like like anything you want to put on her a slot is good except for like a push skill or something like that but um I mean you know you wouldn't do that anyway uh, ugh. Uh, there's one there, so let's do that. <laughs> this guy, I wonder if I'm going to get a plus 10 of him. I don't know how many of him I have. Uh, cool, too. I'll just get these two and bounce out of here. Uh, there's Olivier. Uh, so we're, we're, we're winding down to about 300 orbs. Um, so it's not looking too good uh, for, for getting the uh, the, the plus 10 Byleth. Um, it, it is kind of interesting to me, though, uh, how this turned out, that it would be so skewed in Byleth's favor as opposed to... Um, like, I have... If you were to add my Byleth to my my Sheetahs, I'd have uh, 10, right? 10, of each, uh, 10 in total, so I'd five of each if you distribute them the way the statistics uh should show that they should be distributed but uh they're 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 not so i just find that kind of interesting uh, so one hey there's another sheeta uh four there we go so of course regardless stop uh regardless ah oh, i probably man eh, eh, not really worth Regardless of which one, ooh, this is an excellent orb. I'm gonna pull all five of these. Um, regardless of, uh, I don't know. I forgot where I was going with there. Um, I would like one more young Sheeta just to get to the plus four. Um, but if not, that's fine. Uh, I need so basically what I need is one more young Sheeta at least and two more uh, Byleths. Um, let's hope, let's see if both the Byleths are in here. Come on, Byleth. Ah, uh, it's, uh, Hinata. I wonder who came first, because, I mean, I guess Hinata could be male or female. I mean, it doesn't look, doesn't sound very feminine, like, it doesn't sound necessarily feminine, right? You know what I mean? Like, it's just one of those things where it's like, the, there, there's one prominent Hinata, I think, in, 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 um, in most anime or just like you know pop culture or whatever 
and it's kind of um, Hanada from from what's it called? Uh, let's get you. It's kind of Hanada from uh, from Naruto. I think. I don't. Anyway, maybe I'm just like a weird weeb. Let's see what we got. Oh, don't be a five star. Oh, thank you. Titania. Titania. Basically, she only like from what I've seen is like the only thing you that's good out of her is like she can have three tactics on. <laughs> Um, but tactics have never been really that good anyway, so I don't know. You do with her what you will. Uh, like I always like I just bring that up because like I always wanted like a, a to plus ten titania, but like it's just not worth it. She's just not very good. Um, yeah. Uh, let's go here. One. I'm gonna pull a blue. Hopefully we don't get jobbed. Hey, there's another. Okay, well there you go. Sheeta, the law of averages is kind of uh, bringing Sheeta uh, back up to close to. So there we go. I've got all the Sheetas I want. Um, I've got all the Sheetas I want. So hopefully from now on we just get violets. Really, really nice to get two more violets in a row here, and these last three hundred orbs back and stop. Oof. Uh, we'll go with blue. So we're at one here. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, I just I'm not really sure who would benefit who else I could give. <clears throat> Disencounter and Ruptured Sky too, all in one like that. Especially like units that like you're not gonna plus ten, right? Like Yeah, I don't know. It's back in and stuff. I might you know well that that's kinda interesting. What if okay, so here here here's here's the thought. What if I gave that to um, Petrine, right? Essentially, you're giving her double effectiveness, right? Because you're giving her... She has beast effectiveness built into her weapon. But then, now she has dragon effectiveness built in because of the special that she has, right? Is that like... That seems pretty cool to me, honestly. Like a dual effective unit. <clears throat> and then... She's also theoretically, right, you know, theoretically. She's also theoretically effective against, like, really tanky units because they're going to have huge defense. Ugh. They're going to have huge defense stats, but smaller res stats. And she targets res, right, as long as she's over 50. That's pretty crazy. Like, yeah. <clears throat> and she's still missing. Do, do I think she's... Do I think she'd be good with uh, Disencounter? Probably not, especially because, like, like I'm saying right now, I, you kind of want to use her to, to counter beasts and dragons a little bit, um, and like they're, they're none of them are ranged. Oh man, it'd be kind of interesting to see a ranged beast or a dragon. I wonder what that would look like. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> the point being, oh my gosh, I'm getting jobbed on uh, these so ridiculously. Uh, the point being that. The distant counter isn't very useful on her. <laughs> like something might be better, but I, I've been looking at it, and it's like I really do think I do I really do think that she might want distant counter. Um, unfortunately, against mages, it's probably not going to be as effective because mages are going to have higher res usually. So if you, you know, her her weapon effect isn't going to be so useful against them um, targeting their res. But the fact that she has built in like res reduction of a six um, seems to me pretty good. Like even even against mages, right? Ugh, we got jobbed. Back and stop. <clears throat> okay, cool. So, two reds. So, we're getting more reds now, um, fortunately. Uh, here's Stall. Stall looks like if, um, for those of you who play Borderlands, Stall looks like if you got a doll weapon, the doll, like, weaponry and all that stuff, and you turned him into a person. <laughs> it would look like him. Um, does Soren have wind sweep? There's no way he has wind sweep. He has water sweep, but not wind sweep. Okay. 
Yeah, uh, I was just trying to find a way to wait, 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 wait. Continue summoning. Oh, there's a red orb right there. Did I? What the? F what did I do? Why did I do that? <laughs> I can't believe that. That's dumb. I don't know why I'm such an idiot today. <clears throat> but I've been trying to like find a way to get out of like using Grails to summon a Joshua for his wind sweep because I don't have another wind sweep, um, and it's like more than vital on Byleth. Let's see what am I looking at here? Um, nothing is what I'm looking at. Let's. I'm gonna pull two blues. Um, just because there's a, <clears throat> you know, imaginary theoretical probability here uh, uh, suggests that since I've already gotten two, um, two Ingrids, the next blue, if I get pity broken by a blue, should be a Pala. <laughs> Uh, but of course, that's kind of like, that's kind of similar to Gambler's Fallacy, is that like the idea that like, there is some sort of hidden stat tracker that, that keeps all these things the way they should. I mean, I could probably just get a third uh, a third Ingrid. Um, not that that'd be necessarily bad, it's just one of those things where it's like, it's important to keep in mind. Ah, I have to go do that again. Okay, <clears throat> and we're back. Um, yeah, so let's get back in here and... See what our appearance rates are. Seven point five. One, two, yeah. Okay. I forgot what I was on about. I really need to like write down what I'm talking about before I go on like a a, a barracks break there. Um, so that doesn't happen so often. Because for you guys, it's like instantaneous. Like I'm just in and out. And it's just like, oh, what happened to that train of thought you were going on earlier? <laughs> um, and fortunately, the sound got fixed, so I, I put that back up. Just so it's not just me uh, talking here into nothingness. Uh, let's go back in here. Oh, this is a perfect orb. Well, not perfect orb, but like it's perfect for what I need. I need I need a three exactly, so the next orb could be pity broke, or to to, to increase the pity rate. Uh, let's go back here. Summon you. There's Crom. Uh, I guess what else? I guess to, to sort of fill the void a little bit, um, I just finished watching uh, Gravity Falls, uh, for any of you who have seen that show. I actually really enjoy that show. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd only ever watched it like when it was on TV. You know, you just kind of watch while it's there. And you watch like episodes here and there every so often. Um, and then obviously there's memes and stuff, so like... I have general knowledge of the show, but I never had like sat down and just watched the entire thing, you know, beginning to end. Um, and I, I recently just did that, and that was pretty a pretty nice experience. I actually I, I liked it. Um, it's an excellent show. Um, I, I really highly recommend it. And I think before, like, I, I would recommend, like, I would not necessarily recommend, but like, what I what I what I want to do now is is, you know, it'd be nice to give it to people like buy people like the whole because you can go to like walmart or something and they have like i think it's like 20 bucks or something they have like the little complete series thing that you can just buy now and I, I i wanted to like buy it for people who i thought might like it but i hadn't watched it so it was like you know you were hesitant to do that um one two and then three i was hesitant to do that uh but now it's like oh i'm just i'm, I'm glad i watched it because now there's no hesitation i can just be like oh yeah this is a this is definitely a great show and i'll, I'll give it to someone and, and that's pretty cool um, I won't go into spoilers, of course, um, but uh, it's certainly an excellent show. I think one of the one, I guess, may, kind of a spoiler, but one of the one things I, I didn't like a lot was uh, the the time guy, the guy that. Wow, I got three of the same guy. What are the odds of that? Look at that. Oh no, no, these two are the same. That guy was different. Okay. Um, that time guy, the one they they stole his like belt, his his tape measure, and started messing around with. Uh, so four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so all I have to do is pull these four and then get out, and then the next pity will be higher. Um, I didn't like the fact that that guy's voice actor was um, Morty. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was just like looking at it. It's because well, it, it doesn't bother me that it's Morty. I don't really care too much, but it bothers me that like he went from doing that guy and then just went into Morty and then just did his Morty voice. Like it it's sad when there's when like actors don't have a whole lot of range to their to their voice acting a lot like it's the same character like who else is kind of guilty of this um 
Like Bender is kind of like that. I, I think. No wait, I f somebody I don't know. I think I think it's Bender. But Bender is kind of like that. Where like, he kind of just puts on the Bender voice, and that's like his voice from now until forever. Like, you know what I mean? Wow, we didn't get anything out of that. That was pretty sad. Um, I would have. I would have been pretty nice if we had. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like Bender's voice gets kind of solidified and a lot of stuff he comes out in as Bender is like very similar. I think he's also the guy from, from, uh, isn't he the guy from Adventure Time? Isn't he the, the dog? I'm sorry. I haven't watched Adventure Time. I've been meaning to, but, uh, probably in the future I will. Um, I think he's the dog too. And I think that's one of the things I said where it's like at, at the beginning, he sounded very much like I'm just watching Bender in Ad Adventure Time, but I think as, as the time went on, he started to change his voice, so that's kind of something that I that I kind of liked about that was like, oh look, it's not just Bender, if that's if that's even him, I, you know, I don't even know. Man, I'm getting nothing. <laughs> I have like 10, per almost 10% um, a pity rate, and I'm, I have, you know, <laughs> there's been so many orbs since I've gotten anything. Uh, cool, perfect. Um, but yeah, like it's just, like, take Tara Strong, for example. I mean, she doesn't come out and do a Tara Strong voice every single time they need her. She she, she makes the voice to the person. Um, but, like, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of sad when, like, it just annoys me that certain voice actors are just going to be the same character over and over again um, forever. I think we're at 9.5 now. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Atrocious. Hopefully, I don't get pity broken here. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> uh, so, at least it's Pala, so that's pretty cool. Let's just pull the rest of these. Maybe we'll get more Ingrids and more Palas. Maybe I'll get both the Palas uh, from here that I should have gotten before. Uh, let's go down here. Young Pala X1. There we go. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see. So we're at 9.5, so hopefully this is um, a decent chunk of, of five stars in here. And <laughs> it's probably not going to be. I wish it was like, I, was, I mean, obviously you kind of like, who wouldn't want that? But like, it'd be nice if there was, hey, it's Dorothea. Dorothea, whatever. I'm not entirely sure how to say her name. I really wanted just one copy of her again for just waifu collection status. Um, uh, purposes, I mean, let's kind of see what Banes or Boons she has. Okay, so she's got HP. This is kind of the one you want because I was looking at her. She looks like a pretty decent replacement. Like, if you were, if you could plus 10 her, right, but it's kind of hard to because she's a 5-star locked. But she looks like a pretty decent replacement to um, Tethys, so that's probably what you'd want anyway. Uh, let's just favorite her real quick. Uh, and then lastly, we'll do this one here. Come on, Selena. Gosh damn Python. Uh, but like, like I was saying, it'd be pretty nice if like there was some way to just like see what's under the orbs, and you can only just like focus on summoning the ones you want. Uh, but again, I guess we. Oh, very cool. So I guess it's, I summoned that, and I summoned one after. So it, it should be one, and then these three. So fortunately, I got another palace, another pala merge. So that's always cool. Hopefully I can get all those orbs I summoned back by summoning one or two palas here. I wanted to um, Sheetas or uh, Byleth here, but it's not looking like it. Come on, nothing, okay. So these three plus the last one, let's just summon one more and we should have seven, uh, 6.5 on the next one, theoretically anyway. Okay, so May, back and stop. You should, uh, when you're when you're cleaning out your barracks, you should prioritize making people um, into combat manuals, first of all. Uh, especially because uh, when you make someone a combat manual, um, hey, there's no more Il Iliana. Like I said, I wanted to make her, but like, there's really no point to, because, like, even if... So if you're going to keep this tome, I think, which is, like, she just has the upgraded version of that over here somewhere. Right? It's, like, it's not as good as 
Like, if you're making a plus 10, um... Oh, please don't forget what her name is. Uh, Brunya. <laughs> like, she just beats every other, like, red tome that you could just, like, oh, I'm gonna plus 10 merge project this. It's like, she's probably better than that, than that unit, um, other than, like, specific niches. So, like, take, for example, um, the two I'm making. So I'm making Brunya because she's just a good overall uh, green mage. But I'm also making um, a plus 10 uh, th uh, Tharja. Because she serves a different purpose, like... Brunya is just overall just very good and just has a great stat line, a great tome, um, a great... just great everything, right? Uh, but Tharja is just like one of the harder hitting, like, one-shot mages you can pick. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the mentality there. So let's do one, two, and I'll pull that blue one just to get... Uh, increase the pity for next uh, the next the next rotation. <laughs> well, I, I've I've gotten quite a while without getting another um, five star, which is kind of interesting. Another red five star. <laughs> Let's see what I get here. Hey, just as I was complaining, just complain more. That's the secret, really. Um, there we go. Cool. Let's just pull you just for the sake of it. So this is on. The, this is already starting the next rotation of, of like whatever of pities or whatever. Um, cool. Back and stop. So I have eighty two orbs to get one more bylith. Let's try. Let's give it a shot. Off to a fantastic start, I think. <laughs> hey, it's the pothead. His his lance his his lance refine actually looks pretty. I mean, this is kind of old news at this point, but like, you don't see him very often. And one time, I uh, like I ran into him, and I was like, "Holy shit, he's actually pretty strong." Um, I, I can't exactly remember what it does off the top of my head, but I remember him being pretty scary. And I was, and then you know, I remember immediately thinking after that, I can't believe, in 2020, I'm sitting here staring down the barrel of a, uh, of a pothead, like Donald, and being, "Wow, I'm scared." <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, um, I think, uh, anybody who invested in a plus 10 Donald, I think you, you know, it, you know, I think you were taken care of by, by IS, so, yeah, I think he, he had a very good, um, refine. Okay, so yeah, the, seriously, this, in this case, I really do hope I get another Byleth, because I already have as many Sheetahs as I, as I want, and I'm not gonna get the plus 8, uh, plus 8 Sheetah. Um, Lilina. I'm gonna get that plus eight Sheeta, so it is what it is. Ooh, very cool. So come on. If I get one in addition to the Byleth, that'd be great. That'd be great, but uh, I doubt that's gonna happen. So I'm gonna summon these three. One, two, three. I think I'm just gonna summon one more. Uh, I'm gonna summon that blue as well, just to get the seven. So we got nothing here out of any of these. Uh, let's hope we don't reset it here. Come on. Cool. Odin. Been getting a lot of Odins. I don't even know what fodder he has. But yeah, like I was saying. Um, Tharja versus, you know, Brunya. They both serve different purposes. Hey, look. He's got... Uh, that's kind of interesting. Odin's Grimoire. Because that's basically what uh, Tharja's Hex does. But for reds. Um, what else does he have? Yeah, that's very interesting. You just run blade tomes all day. <laughs> that was an interesting meta back then. Was like the like the end game of like a, a solid um, mage was like just just blade tome, just, just slap a blade tome on on him and you're solid. <laughs> okay, so we're running out of orbs and the decision needs to be made about whether or not stop i want to pay whether or not like they've like am i getting baited should i get baited here basically is what i'm asking is like should i pay some money to buy some of those packs to try to get that last plus one buy lift or not <laughs> now the other decision uh that, that's coming into play is do i want to get baited enough to go for the plus 10 buy <laughs> um 
Come on, another Byleth. Oh, that'd be funny. Uh, okay, so I think I should... To not be greedy, I think I should stay here at the plus 8 Byleth, right? It's going to be sad because I'm not going to get the plus 10 Byleth on a character that I really wanted a plus 10. But I think the worst, like, there's worse things than that. Like, for one, wasting money and not getting the plus 10 Byleth anyway. Um, and also on top of that, not having any orbs for the upcoming... Um, the upcoming uh, winter banner. Right? I think I'm just going to burn all these just just because. So there should be two here. One, two. Um, so that's a question. And there's a Sheeta. Cool. So I got the, the six. So I got a pretty good numbers right here, right? I got the... Oh, I didn't update them for you guys. I got the plus five Sheeta and the plus uh, eight... Byleth, and it really hurts me that it's only plus eight. Um, but like I said, the alternatives can be a lot worse, such as to say that I could end up buying these packs and then still not get anything anyway. Um, but it is it is tempting beyond what I can describe. <laughs> I can't believe we just pulled like a random sheet off of one summon. Um, do I think it's worth pulling the rest of these orbs? Maybe. Um, I don't really know. I, I guess the the one the one nice thing I, I I liked about the second Ingrid is that now I can fodder off one Ingrid into Byleth and then still get get the the hero merit from her um, because I have two copies, right? So I can fodder off one copy and the other copy can be used to farm her HM and then fodder her off eventually because I really do want the the the, st the sturdy impact now. Um, but I think this is a lot better than I would have hoped, right? Because I what I wanted was at least a plus four and a plus four. Um, yeah. Plus four and a plus four. And to get so close to the plus ten with so little orbs, I mean, you know, it was a thousand orbs, right? <laughs> it's, it kind of hurts me a little bit to say how little that was. But compared to what I what the game sort of requested of me, um, which was... Compared to what the statistics requested of me, which was 1,700 orbs on average, right? So half of the people will do it in less, but not a whole lot less. I mean, 25... 25% of the... 75% of people will do it in at least, with at least, uh, what's it called? With, with, uh, it was like 1300 or more, like 1300 or more to get the plus 10, right? Um, and 25% of the people who play the game will get the, that in less than those orbs. And if we were to calculate it out, I'd probably be under the 25 percentile, so I'm not even reaching the 15, the, the, the 50 percentile of 1700, right? So if I buy these packs, there's a decent chance that I might get the plus 10. Um, but I, I think what I'm going to do is just say patience. I do want a plus 10 Byleth at some point, but... And, I, and there's really no better chance to get her than now, but... Um, I think let's not feed Avarice in this case and just kind of, you know, be chill, right? Like, plus 8, let's go, let's be happy with what we got and move on. And then um, save orbs, see what's going on, and then uh, if, pal if she ever comes back, you know, just summon then, right? Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what it comes down to. Uh, just try to, try to bide your time a little bit. Um, I might make a follow-up video, because we still have one day. I mean, I have all, all of today and all of tomorrow to, to, to kind of think about it. Um, so I might make a follow-up video of, like, you know, here's the, here's the pay-to-win orbs that I put just to get the plus 10. Um, but yeah. Uh, like I said, some of these packs are pretty enticing, so if anything, I'm probably gonna buy these two pack two of these packs... I might buy one and then see how that goes and buy the second one and see how that goes. But you really kind of want to buy them both at the same time uh, to use up those tickets. Because uh, if, let's say I use I get this pack, right? And then the next one comes. Well, I don't know. Yeah, like I said. I, probably, I might buy one and see how that goes. Um, yeah. Ideally, you kind of want to buy both just to use the tickets before you start using orbs. Right? Um, and then... It'll in the long run, and, and at the end, it'll sort of save you more orbs so that you can spend them on you know whatever else you want to spend them on. Which in this case will be for me probably maybe the winter the winter banner, but I don't foresee spending money on the winter banner unless like again I like something ridiculous comes out like a summer byleth or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna 
pause this now and, and think it over and then I'll come back to you guys and then we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, uh, so as you can see up there, and uh, let's come over here. You can see right, not there, right here. I don't know where my ticket is. Maybe it's in the presence list. There we go. <laughs> it was like, as you can see by these things here, I, I went to go buy one. I bought one. We'll see how that how that one goes. Uh, we might, you know, for all we know, we might get the two buy lists in, in, in just this one pack and I'll have to buy more. Um, but yeah, I mean, thinking after thinking it over, um, like there's really not going to be a better opportunity than this because she's probably going to come out on, a, on another banner um, where she's three percent, where it's a six percent, but three percent for her and three percent off banner. Um, and like, I really just, you know, I'd rather not like, as long as like, at least my orbs are going somewhere better here in terms of like they're going to go into Shido or they're going to go into Byleth, um, regardless. So I think I'm, we're just going to try it out and see how it goes. Uh, we'll just keep going. Do I have my? Am I? I'm at two, right? Yeah, I'm at two right now. Uh, so let's go in here. Where's my uh, notepad thing here? So we will summon this blue. So we're at, we should be at three theoretically. Oh, I think it reset when I got that um that young Sheeta. I think the young Sheeta was the last unit I summoned. Back and stop. <laughs> Those tick every single one of these tickets has been a waste, like a colossal waste. Okay, and Hanata doesn't inspire too much confidence there. Uh, back and stop. Okay, so let's just summon all three of these here. Uh, there's Lilina. So unfortunately, given how few orbs we do have, I might end up having to actually just go buy that other one, which that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, and let's just pull you. So theoretically, we should be at um, back and stop. 6.5 now. Okay, cool. And nothing. Deliv high deliver Robin. Back and stop. Okay, let's do this. Okay, two two reds, very cool. Okay. Nada. So after this we should be at seven. I think, right? I think I think I messed up the count here somewhere. Okay. Back and stop. Okay, so we should be at seven. So we're not at seven. So we need two more to get to seven. Okay, so then this top one is a is a lie. So we're gonna summon this red and that blue right next to it. Uh Corin. And here's Effie. Okay, so now we should be one, two. Now we should be at seven. Back and uh, stop. Yep. Okay, seven. <clears throat> so unfortunately, I guess I'm gonna have to go buy that thing again. Another one. So one, two. Corn again. Oh, we're getting a lot of corns now for some reason. I just feel like there's a <laughs> they're all back loaded. Just as I was saying, like there's a bunch of corns. <clears throat> so back and stop. Okay, so we are still at the seven. Okay, so we'll just take you. Okay, so we're at three here. And stop. Okay, so here's the last one before we have to go get that pack again, if we, if we do. So one and two. So after this, it should be 7.5. So let's see what we get here. 
Okay, Sophia. <clears throat> and Athena. So nothing. Uh, we're at seven here, so we back out, and we should be 7.5. Yep. Uh, so I'll be right back again.